Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, introducing Ark Survival Evolved. Let's talk about hunting methods. I'm level 18, so I'll be hunting with the bow and arrow, spear, and maybe slingshot. The game is still in early access and hasn't been optimized yet, so there's some frame rate issues at times, but the concept of the game is really great. So I'll just be making some stone arrows and then we'll be underway. Stone arrows are really easy to make, they're an economical way to hunt. They cost two thatch, one flint, and two fiber. You can get thatch by using the stone pick on a tree, Flint from using a stone pick on a stone, and fiber is really easy to get by picking bushes. This is my pet Carbonamus. Not sure how it's pronounced, which is basically a turtle with really high defensive stats. As you can see, I've been maxing out his health pool so he can tank for me in the fights. So just make him follow me and we'll get into a fight. So I'll get my bow and arrow out and pull this track towards me. My pet will then engage and take the hits for me. This is a really easy method to just stand back and take down opponents with ease. Sometimes I like to change it up and use my spear, but it's more dangerous. And I just got hit, so I'll be going back to using my bow and arrow. Alright, so the track is killed and I've just leveled up. Let me just put my stat point in. Might go more into weight as this is a useful stat. Killing dinos is a quick way to get XP and also help with getting food to keep your food levels up and higher to make new items. So as you can see, my pet turtle only lost about uh, 100 health. He is a really good tank. So I found another wild dino, the Carbonamus. These guys are relatively easy to kill with the spear because it outranges their bite and they are too slow to gain any ground on you so you can simply backpedal. I don't need my pet to kill these guys but it always is handy having the backup. They do have a lot of health so they take a while to kill and will probably break my spear. His friend has come to join the fight. Uh, one thing about dinos is they will help out um, their species if they're under attack, so just be careful when you're pulling. And as you can see, my spear just broke. I'll just gather some more resources to repair my spear. Once again, not too much burden on my pet, losing around a quarter of health it looks like. Uh, this is the Dillo, he's a weak dino. You just have to avoid his poison spit which blinds you. They're easy to knock out and as you can see only two shots with a slingshot to send him unconscious. So there are two tracks and one stego ahead. I'll pull the two tracks first. You can cut these dinos using a slingshot or bow and arrow, but it is much easier using a pet to tank. That's one down. That's two down. Now the Stego. This Stego has a really strong tail and can do a lot of damage, so be careful of it. Alright, so my pet has just lost under half health and we have taken out three fairly strong dinos. I've just spotted a carnosaur ahead so I'm getting ready to prepare for the fight. My pet has 900 health out of 1500, which should be enough for this fight. Carnosaurs are very quick, they can outrun the human base running speed, so you need to either have really good stats to take it down or good weapons. 
Seeing as I'm only level 19, I'll need to use my pet to tank and the bow and arrow to damage from afar. There we go, not too difficult to take down. And my pet only lost about 200 health because of its high armor. Some dinos you can loot because they've eaten someone and have their items inside of them. As you can see, this dino has some nice items in it, including the metal pick, which I haven't learnt yet, so I'll equip that. This will make um, harvesting a lot quicker. I'll now take down the other one. One more Kano in the grave. As you can see, I've just harvested some harvested some prime meat. Prime meat spoils very quickly, I think it's like two minutes. So it's handy tip is to put the meat into your pet. I think food lasts four times longer in the pet. I'll quickly gather some resources and try and make a fire pit so I can cook the prime meat because prime meat lasts a lot longer when it's cooked. Prime meat is also really good for taming carnivores. Alright, so crafting the fire pit now. Put it down and put some wood in it. Now put the prime meat in there to be cooked. go it's cooked and that lasts 44 minutes now just take the other items out and also demolish the fire pit to gain some resources back now I'll put the prime meat into my pet and it now lasts just under three hours So that concludes this video about hunting, I hope you've learned some valuable information. Thanks for watching, see you next time.